Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Bluefin Design and I'm Nikhil. And in this video, we are going to be looking at the latest update that Adobe XD rolled out just this week. And I'm at the Adobe's website as you can see on the screen. And the latest Adobe version, Adobe XD version is 45. And in this version, Adobe XD has rolled out support for Lottie playback. Uh, we'll see what Lottie is if you don't know just in a moment and you can also play videos natively in XD So we're going to be looking at how we can do that. There's some limitations. So stay tuned for that how to export uh, There's some improvements made in that front as well and you can share your designs and prototypes directly to Behance uh, if you like to So we're going to be looking at these updates in this video so let's get started so i'm on the website for lottie files this is the official website um if you don't know what lotties are they are lightweight scalable animations for your documents your uh, websites your applications and whatnot so if you go to the website they have shown the advantage of using lotties over the traditional file types so you can create Lotties in Adobe After Effects or you can create uh, on their editor as well. But we are going to use the already created animations uh, on their website to see if we can use those in our designs. So uh, to integrate Lottie files with Adobe XD, uh, Lottie files has actually introduced a plugin for Adobe XD as well. So I'm going to switch to Adobe XD and I have a sample design that we're going to be working with uh, in this video. But if I'm going to the plugins, uh, sorry, it's the other one. Um, what you can do is basically you can go to the plugins menu up top and uh, click on browse plugins or you can also click this plus icon on the plugins tab that will open up this window where you can browse for and discover more plugins. So I'm going to go to the browse section and just search for Lottie. Now to be able to install Lottie plugin, you first have to update your Adobe XD application to the version 45. Otherwise you won't see this install button. Uh, so if make sure you update your XD application and I'm going to install this. So now uh, the Adobe XD plugin for Lottie has been installed. I'm going to click on the Lottie files plugin and you can see that it says we have to log in or create an account for free on their website. So I'm going to click on this button. It is going to take me to their website and I have already created an account. So I'm just going to log in, uh, but you can sign up on their website. It's free. You just have to provide your email. And now once you log in, you will see this window where you can click on grant access and you should see this check mark or confirmation. So it says you're logged in. Now I'm going to head back to Adobe XD and as soon as I log in, I can see that the plugin view has been updated and here's my profile. Uh, but I can directly search for the animations from within Adobe XD. So for this example, I'm going to basically update all the icons that I used earlier in my previous video. Uh, so we're going to replace these static icons with animations. So I've already used or downloaded or saved these four Lottie animations. So these are Lottie animations, but let's first look at how, can, how you can search for and add Lottie animations. So there's two different ways to do that. So for the first way, I'm going to be looking at this sad uh, icon or animation smiley. So you can directly search for an animation within this plugin tab. So you have this search field over here. I'm going to type my query, which is sad and the Lottie plugin will then search for all the available animations. And I can choose from the ones that I like. So I'm, I like this one for what the, for the project that I'm working on. So I can simply just drag and drop it 
into my XD workspace and uh, it's that easy. I can then resize or basically use any way I want in my designs. So let me first resize this and I'm going to use these all together. But I'm going to show you the other way as well. Uh, I can go to the website, the Lottie website itself. Now I see that I'm signed in, right? So there's the search tab on the top. And for my design, let's say I'm looking for the animation for angry. You can search for any query that you're looking for. And I think this one is pretty good enough. So I'm going to open it up. And on the top, you can see the download button. But before that, you do have the option to customize the details over here. So for example, you can change the background. Uh, you can change the animation speed as well. So it goes up to 2.5x. And then there's a there's a bunch of more stuff that you can do. Uh, but for my design, I can simply download this. Now, even for downloading, there's multiple options for you to do that. Now, you can also download a GIF animation, an MP4 video, but we're we are really looking for the Lottie animation in its core. So that's a Lottie JSON. So I'm going to select the Lottie JSON option and it's going to ask me to basically save my file and I'm going to click on save. And that's all I needed to do basically. Uh, once you're happy with any animation that you search for, uh, there's a lot that are available for free to download. There's ones that are paid ones. Uh, so you can choose for the ones that you like. Now let's head back to our design. So I downloaded the JSON Lottie animation for angry onto my uh, explorer or finder. You can then drag and drop that animation into XD as well. So there's really multiple uh, two ways to add Lottie animations. And again, now from now on, you can basically do anything you want with this animation, right? So firstly, I'm going to resize this so I can arrange it on my artboard. And from this point, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to update or replace these icons. So these are all static icons as you can see over here. This is the actual icon if I zoom in. That's just a static image. So earlier I had basically designed the animation to play out like so. So the icon was only rotating to signify and hover effect, right? But this is going to change to now. So we are going to replace all these icons with the Lottie animation that we just downloaded. And so I'm going to speed up this part where I replace uh, the icons with the Lottie animations. All right, so here's the default state, how that icon looks like. And when I hover over that, um, the text pops up and then the Lottie animation will animate. So if we look at how uh, or how you can animate the Lottie file in XD, I'm going to select the animation on the layers panel. And then you can see on the properties panel on the right, that you have a new section available for uh, adding some interaction that's called interactive media. Now this section will only obviously be available for the Lottie files. And you also have this play icon on the top left corner. So it's actually differentiates that that's an interactive media, right? So in my design uh, at the hover state or at the initial state, I don't want the animation to play by itself. So you have these options where you can play the animation on tap. You can play the animation automatically when it loads or you can choose to not to play back. And you have this app option over here to basically loop uh, the animation until uh, the user actually chooses to move away. So I'm going to enable that. Uh, actually for the default state, I'm going to disable it. 
because I don't want that to animate or to play when it's only on the default state. Now when I'm going to the hover state, I'm actually again selecting the Lottie animation on the layers panel and when the icon is hovered over, that's when I want uh, the icon to play the animation and then loop it until it's hovered. So that's the animations or the options that you have to basically animate or play the interactive media in with respect to Lottie files in Adobe XD. So I'm going to repeat this process for all the other icons as well. All right, so now I have edited all the uh, components with uh, the Lottie files. So for this uh, like button, we have the default state like this and the hover state uh, like so. And when it is hovered over, uh, the animation for the Lottie is going to play. And the best part is that I actually in my design, uh, I only had to update the original component for this like interaction. And now automatically everything has been updated. I only have to do one last step, which is align all of these icons. All right, so now I've fixed that and let me just save my progress. And here's the moment of truth. If I hover over the like interaction, you can see that the animation for that like is playing and likewise it's also playing for all the other animations and really this is just one aspect of how um, you can use the Lottie animations and really take advantage and may bring your images or your media to life and with the users and really this is possible in the prototypes as well you can then actually hand off the designs to developers along with these Lottie animations so that the dev team can also make use of these so that was everything about Lottie animations the next part is about uh, the support for video playback natively within Adobe XD so let's look at that so again, we are going to take this same example where in my repeat grid, I'm going to update this so-called the top post that I have. And right now it's an image, but now like, like you can share videos to Facebook, I'm going to share a video as well, or actually try to do that. So I'm going to first unmask the image to be able to use or play videos in your designs. All you really need to do is uh, explorer or like actually go to your explorer or finder. This is a video file and uh, just drag and drop the video file in your designs. And that's how simple it is. Right now you see everything is black, but that's just how my video is. All right. So now uh, since my artboard width is 560 pixels, uh, I'm going to resize this video file as well to 560 and the height is going to adjust accordingly. So now what I need to do is I'm going to right click, cut this and then navigate on my layers panel where I want to add that video file on my design and simply paste it. And that's how it's going to show up there. I'm going to see what the height of the video is. So it's basically the aspect ratio one is to one. So now that I have the video on my design, you can see that now again on the properties panel with that video file selected, you have a few options to basically uh, work with the media files. So now uh, again, like Lottie files, you can play the video when you tap on it or you can play it automatically when it loads or no playback. Or again, you can also edit the playback and create a special interaction. So we're not going to do that, but you can, you still have that option. So with that video selected, I'm going to choose play automatically. But again, if you see on this icon, uh, you have a few more controls on uh, how to uh, show the video. So you have the option to trim or use a section of that video. You can mute your video and remove the audio 
uh, on that as well you can choose to loop the video you also have the option to update the thumbnail so you can click on the option this icon over here on the top left it will take you to finder or explorer you can then choose an image uh, as a thumbnail so this is one of the videos that I did recently on designing and prototyping multi-level drop-down lists all in Adobe XD and this is completely scalable. So I'm going to put the link to this video in the description down below. Be sure to check it out. I'm sure you'll learn something. I was shocked when I actually designed this as well. Uh, all right, enough about that. So I'm going to save my progress and there it is the video is actually playing as soon as the uh, the preview loads and I can still scroll down uh, in your design you can update all the items in the repeat grid oh here's the issue I know what this is I just had to arrange the layers on how the like and comment section shows up here you go as soon as the preview loads uh, the video is actually playing and when I hover over the like button, you can see the Lottie animations playing as well. So these are actually both the updates that were uh, added to Adobe XD and all in one design. And I'm actually only excited about what you guys can do uh, with these features. So I'd be more than happy to actually see what you come up with and do share them with me on my Instagram account and there's a couple more features that is improvements on how you can export all the layers and sharing your designs directly to Behance. So uh, with respect to exporting your artboards you can select this artboard right click and export and now you have the options to basically even export your designs as images up to 4x uh, the file size you can also export to J, uh, PDFs or JPEG you have all these options as well so I I think these were not present in the previous uh, versions and I think that's a great addition also talking about the sharing to Behance feature if I'm selecting this artboard I can then create or like you know create a flow and create a link to that flow so for example, I'm going to create for uh, just for presenting because I want to update my portfolio with this design, right? And I can choose these permissions for that. And I'm just simply going to create a link. Once my link is ready, you see that you have more options available over here. Um, you can simply click on this icon, share on Behance. It's going to take you to Behance and then uh, you can actually update your project and share it with the community and get your feedback. So those are some of the features that were added in the latest version of Adobe XD. That's all for this video. Uh, if you like this content, please hit the like button and show some love and share this video with your network so more people can take advantage of using video files and Lottie animations in their designs and do consider subscribing as I'll be sharing more such videos uh, and ideas with you in the future. Thank you so much for watching.